Oh shit, is this guy riding a wheelie right now? Must be an accident. guys i just drove about uh 40 minutes or so to the air gun range and so i got tom with me today i got some uh, random targets i got some hats to shoot off people's heads it's about a 500 yard hike into the wood to get to the air gun range but i'm gonna do it right this time i brought a cart and uh i'm gonna pack everything in and out of there a lot more easily instead of carrying it you won't believe what's in this car Okay, I have a lot of crap packed in here. Everything from my PCP tank to uh, my two favorite guns. At least I'm getting it all up there in one shot. But it's a little bit heavy, but definitely better than carrying all this stuff in like five trips. Okay, this is not gonna be easy, so I actually need to put this camera down and use both hands here. All right, check out this trail right here. I'm like, on the edge of a cliff with my wagon right here, which is like about to fall off the cliff. But I'm gonna go down this trail with it. I'm not scared at all. Okay, this right here is the uh, halfway point. So I just want you guys to appreciate what I had to go through to make this video. All right, here we are at the spot. Uh, and it's just like we left it in the Nova Freedom video. No one's been here or touched nothing. So it's time to uh, Sight some guns in and get some bullseyes. Alright, got everything ready to go. I got this gun right here. I'm the only person in America that has it. This right here is a air gun of the year, so I'm just privileged to be in the same room with this gun right here. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this gun right here with uh, this expensive high power Hawkeye scope. See what I can do at 75 and 100 yards. So hopefully I'll be able to do some sort of trick shot with this guy today at 100 yards. I almost forgot my rangefinder today, my $99 rangefinder, the Halo XL450 from Walmart. Uh, but I didn't, so luckily we got that. We're going to make sure we're at 100 yards and we're going to see what this Nova Freedom can do. Okay, and uh, also, you guys know Tom from the AP16 video. He is here today. Probably going to help us with some trick shots. We got plenty of targets. Got a little bit of air left in my tank, but when we do run out of air... It's Nova Freedom time, okay? And then when my arm gets tired, it's CO2 time. All right, so I got plenty of guns to shoot, so I'm sure I won't make them through at all, but for sure I'm gonna make it through the Nova Freedom today. And Tom and I are gonna unbox this bad boy. You know what, I forgot my switchblade today, so uh, I think I'm gonna have to shoot this box open with the Nova Freedom. Yeah, this should be fine. This is the Nova Freedom, which was uh, air gun of the year, according to me, and so, uh, I'm gonna go through how many pumps this takes to uh, charge it up today, and we're gonna find out more about the pump. But first, I'm gonna shoot this package open because I don't have my switchblade. I must have missed. I actually shot this thing completely open. It took me less than 10 shots, so in less than one clip, I opened this package. Amazing. What do you think it's going to be, Tom? You think it's an Avanix rainstorm? Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay, I got. I want you guys to share the excitement of this moment with me, so I got it really nice and close. Wow. I love it when I unwrap a gun, and it's nice and greasy. 
See what I'm talking about right there? That's grease, okay? That means that your gun kicks ass. So right here is a little something something called the Kral Armor. Okay guys, the first thing that we gotta do before we can even shoot this gun is uh, is run a patch through the barrel because it's actually gonna be totally dirty. Uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that you're supposed to clean your new air guns no matter where you bought them. I thought if you bought something at Pyramid Air then you didn't have to clean it, but even the guns from Pyramid Air, the guns from Walmart, the, all your guns have to have a patch ran through there because uh, there's stuff in the barrel. You'll see, I'm gonna run a patch through here and it's gonna be tremendously dirty inside. I was just about to clean this uh, awesome crow right here, the crow armor. I came up here and I got everything, but I did not bring my uh, hops, cleaning solvent stuff, so this is not going to get shot today. Right now, though, uh, I'm going to go play with the Nova Freedom, because I know that one's clean. Okay, I got my Nova Freedom here today, but uh, instead of using my tank, I'm going to go ahead and see exactly how many pumps it takes to get this thing topped off. There's no doubt that this is a good-looking rifle, okay? It's beautiful. So anyway, here's the nanometer. Okay, it looks like uh, I'm pretty much up there where I want to be at three there. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot this all the way to the yellow zone. It's probably going to take me about six or seven shots. And then I'm going to pump it back up to the green and tell you how many it takes. Basically to get from 150 bar is where the yellow starts. And the green zone is from 150 to 300. So I'm going to go from 150 to 300 see how many pumps it takes from the handle right here. Okay, I'm going to be using Jumbo Exact. Today I'm going to go with 15 grain and 18 grain, haven't decided yet. So uh, I still get questions of what it means to size my pellet. So basically this is my 22 caliber pellet sizer. And here is how you size your pellet for greater accuracy. Just drop it in here nose first like that. And then you take this plunger and you just ram it in there like that. Okay, and what happens is, now what you basically just did was you squished your pellet to be exactly... 5.5 millimeters all these might be a little bigger or smaller but if you just run it through your pellet sizer like this now you've got two size pellets and you just run all your pellets through there like that and now all your pellets are going to be the same size now you can pick out any size pellet sizer you want so you can have four 5.4 millimeter 5.6 millimeter i chose 5.5 because that's just the 22 caliber size and uh, on the 177 I just got 4.5 millimeter on that and these seem to work really good so once you size your pellets though if you really want to have the tightest groups in the world then you weigh your pellets and each one of these pellets is going to be like up to two tenths of a gram off or more maybe and so what you do is you find all the pellets that are within one tenth of a gram of each other and you put them in groups. So once you size your pellets, then you can go ahead and weigh your pellets and, and just separate them into groups that all weigh the same and then uh, you're really gonna have some, those are the tightest groups you're gonna be able to get with your pellets. For all my trick shooting trick shots today, I'm gonna be using the pellet tray that they supply because uh, the guy in Air Gun Gear Show, he said that he always uses a pellet tray, you know, and if you want the tight groups, you know, that you see in the videos, you gotta use that pellet tray right there. So one of my viewers said that, uh, it's really important when you're shooting at targets to hold your tri finger on the trigger until after you hit the target. Just keep it on there. And so I'm doing that this time. It's basically like part of the follow through. I'm doing that this time and I just put two in the same hole at 50 yards. The exact same hole. Not the one hole group that I always say, oh, this is the one hole group. No, this really wasn't the same hole. Okay, so uh, I wasn't paying attention. I just shot this gun completely empty. Um, I was trying to wait till it got to the yellow right there, but apparently once you get to the yellow, it's just like maybe two or three shots and it goes completely empty. So I actually, my last shot is still in the barrel right here. So I didn't even have enough to uh, push it out at all. And the shot before that went really low. So basically what you need to do is get this gun up to three right there. And then you're going to have about, now this is on, on high, okay, on high power. You're going to have about six, maybe seven shots. And then it's going to be time to pump up again. So... Basically, this gun is at zero. I'm going to see how many pumps it takes to get to 3,000 so that if you buy this gun, you're going to know what you're in for when you first have to fill it. Okay, I just did exactly 20 pumps, and I went from zero to halfway into the green. So that is cool. Okay, that actually turned out to be super easy. Basically, the pump doesn't get any harder as you go. It's the same amount to pump it each time. And so I did 35 to 40 pumps. Uh, I did 35 and I was up 
to the green right there and I just kept going and uh, kind of still where it was so basically I could have got away with 35 pumps but I went ahead and did 40 pumps and like I said it didn't get any harder to pump the handle right there and uh, it was pretty easy I mean I thought I'd be hurting but no that was easy so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm trying to just gonna do six or seven shots and I'm gonna pump it back up again and I'm predicting that it'll only be about 20 pumps not bad at all okay guys I'm having a little bit of trouble getting a pinpoint sighted in at 50 yards with these 15 grain pellets right here so I think I was shooting the 18 grain last week with the Nova Freedom I'm gonna go ahead and try the 18 grain which are traditionally you know a little better for target shooting okay once again in this video is focusing on the pump okay so I took uh, three maybe four shots I'm gonna give this 10 pumps and I bet I'm gonna be right back up to the three let's try it out Okay, so 10 pumps did actually get me almost to the three, and but it was so easy to pump. I just went ahead and did 15, and it was still so easy. I just went ahead and did 20 pumps, so I think I'm as far as it's going to go to the three. I'm not really sure, but this might have like an automatic release thing where when you get to a 300 bar right there, it starts to push a little bit out. So anyway, I am right pegged up there, and it was no sweat. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in on this bullseye right here. Anyway, I hit a bullseye right in the middle of that center square, so I think I'm sighted in right there. Is that close enough for you? That's a dime right there, 50 yards with my Hawkeye scope on 12 power, so uh, I think I'm all clicked around, so. I guess I'm ready for a 100 yard shot with the Nova Freedom. This is 61 yards right here. I think that the nearest I'm gonna get to 100 yards is uh, if I go on this tree right here. I'll probably put one of the Airgun Depot golf balls in this tree right here, you know, maybe I'll have like a Barbie doll holding it or something, or stick it on Tom's head, there's a good idea, and then I'll see if I can do a 100 yard shot with the Nova Freedom. Now I noticed this when I was shooting this uh, in the first review video, is that the sweet spot really is the entire green. You know, you start hitting stuff perfectly here, and when you're in the middle, you know, it's perfect as well. This just stays accurate for basically six, seven shots. It's just, you know, pellet on pellet, and uh, I'm going to give this uh, 15 pumps, and this can be right back. Okay, so here's your Air Gun Depot Long Ranger Challenge, uh, except the Long Ranger that I'm doing is 100 yards with the Nova Freedom. And uh, just showing you what size these guys are in relation to a golf ball. So if I was to hit these guys center mass, uh, it would be almost, a, it would be equivalent to hitting this golf ball, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and put these guys down there just so I can tell you know where my mill dots are for a couple practice shots and then uh, once I figure that out I'm gonna hit this golf ball from 100 yards alright you guys the tree in question is actually 76 yards away so that's perfect there's a buck running through the woods right there just busted away but anyway this is about 10 feet in a tree and I don't know if you can see but there is a, actually a princess trapped inside this little snow globe thing and there is actually a bad guy right here holding her hostage and I have been tasked with 75 yard shot with the Nova Freedom to free this princess right here so basically I have to shoot her globe and get her out of there and then without hurting her so that's gonna be pretty hard but I can do it okay this is a 75 yard shot the princess is like in that tree right there and I range find it it's 75 yards away from my picnic table here Okay, that's what it looks like in my scope. See if I can zoom in a little bit. You can see the princess there, and you can see the bad guy in my crosshairs. Yeah, it's 75 yards away. I put my parallax on 75, so. Let's see, I think I'm gonna hold just one mil dot down and see what happens. Okay, I actually nailed that uh, 75 yard shot on the third shot because I just had to figure out where to hold my mill dots. I held it two down and nailed it. Let's go do a damage assessment. All right, I definitely hit that little globe there. It didn't break, but it did go in where I was aiming, so that's good. Now I am going to go ahead and nail that Airgun Depot golf ball and those two lollipops maybe at 75. Here we go. Well, 
Well, you would think I would be happy that I hit that golf ball. I hit it on the first shot, but here's why I'm not happy. I had this camera, my phone camera, I was holding it awkwardly in front of my Hawkeye scope with lining the crosshairs up with that golf ball right there at 75 yards and I pulled the trigger and much to my surprise I hit it with scope cam footage through the Hawkeye scope and I wasn't recording. That was lame. But anyway, I got the close up from my other camera so uh, that was a 75 yard golf ball challenge with the Nova Freedom one shot 75 yards. All right, guys, I got the Nova Freedom right here, and it's my choice for Airgun of the Year 2018. So I just want to wrap up this uh, part two video. Uh, I'm going to unbox this real fast and give you some hardcore stats. So I actually got this gun from a really cool guy on the Airgun forums, uh, and he sent me his gun, personal gun to review uh, and make this video on it. So um, this is some of the chronograph testing that he did. So he was using a JSP 15 grain, and he had this on the high power setting. So basically it looks like we were starting off uh we basically this gun's going to shoot between 890 and 880 so that's pretty good solid 880 feet per second and uh if you're not going to top it back off you're still going to get some 880s right there but then it is going to go down to about 850 so that's not bad for 10 shots right there now if you want to switch over to the low power setting okay you're going to get about 720 feet per second on low power of course you're going to get more shots per fill obviously yeah, right here you can see the low and high power settings. These two are high in the middle and the low. And so, uh, yeah, I might end up using low power. So basically I'm going to be doing some close range shooting with this gun because I only have about 25 yards to make my uh, shots tomorrow. But I'm going to try to set up and uh, nail some rats in the middle of the night tomorrow. I would say if you're looking for your first PCP, definitely get a Nova Freedom. Uh, if you don't want to get the whole PCP set up, like basically if you're not sure if you're going to, be a big PCP fan or you're gonna get really into air guns uh, definitely get one of these and you're gonna get to experience what a PCP is like to shoot which is basically no recoil the bull the the shots go the same place every time and super accurate because the the gas doesn't cool off like co2 um, and there's no recoil like a spring gun so basically it's a, it's a lot of fun you get yourself one of these right here you experience PCP and then if you like it you can get yourself a tank. You know, I got a video on how to get a tank for under 200 bucks that I'm going to be putting out pretty soon. And uh, get yourself a $39 hand pump, and then you can uh, get a gauntlet after that. And that would be a cool little collection there. Anyway, so uh, there's a lot of these $300 PCPs that you can get now uh, if you like this gun and you want to get more into PCP shooting. But definitely, this is like probably just a great first gun. I mean, really, there's no first gun that would be better because there's no first gun that you don't even have to buy a scope or a hand pump for but realistically okay you could get a gauntlet let's say or a $300 PCP and then get yourself a $40 hand pump and you'd still be able to shoot so you know this is definitely a great gun if uh, if you're a collector it's one to have a best like, here's the deal though it's a good gun for hunting okay if you're not gonna hunt you know think about if you want it Hey guys, I want to tell you thanks for tuning in and uh, thanks for watching the Airgun channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe 
and uh, I'll get you as many commercial free videos on air gun and everything else as I can. So uh, thanks again and we'll see you next time. If you like what you see, 